Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Jag Tiger, a 7.0 German tank destroyer, along with two realistic battles, which I'll be covering with post commentary. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at the stats. Uh, hull armor, be looking at uh, 150 millimeters on the upper frontal plate. Effective thickness is 207 millimeters at the bottom, 118 millimeters at the top. As for the lower plate, we have 100 millimeters. Effective thickness at the top, 174 millimeters at the bottom, about 183. Full slip back at 49 degrees. Uh, 80 millimeters of armor all the way around, both sides and back, along with 5 millimeter skirts in. As for the superstructure, we have a 250 millimeter plate sloped at 15 degrees, but with the sloping of the gun mantlet and slight curvature of the 250 millimeter plate, we can see effective thickness upwards of 400 millimeters. On the sides and back of the superstructure, we have 80 mils. On the sides, we have an additional 30 millimeters with the tracks, bringing it up to 110 millimeters. 45 on the top, paired up with the lovely Pack 44 or 128 millimeter cannon, giving us 237 mils of pen at 1,000 meters. Max reload is 18.2 seconds, and max horsepower is 700, bringing this 75 ton tank up to 25.9 miles per hour. Now, personally, I have a love-hate relationship with this tank. I have been playing this tank off and on for roughly two months, probably more than that. But when I started playing, the modifications for this tank were extremely expensive, over-the-top expensive. I, I have no idea why it would be so expensive, but... Luckily they've changed it now where I believe the the engine upgrade transmission and smoke are now uh, 29,000. I researched tracks first which was a horrible mistake. I think the tracks were about 24,000 research and parts and fire extinguishers were maybe slightly more than that. Ridiculous for a unupgraded Yag Tiger. Having no parts in the Yag Tiger at 7.0, 7.7, .7, uh, you basically, you get penned by almost all the tanks you face frontally. Uh, you consistently get your cannon barrel knocked out and, you know, you're, you're put out of the battle pretty much instantly without parts or fire extinguishers. So, grinding that is really is hard along with the shells the stock shells you get for some reason seem to be they just have a very high chance of ricocheting I'm not exactly sure why on the upside this tank has a, a six-man crew as a six-man crew it's got the ammo stored in the sides and the bottom one of the major ups to this tank is you have so much one shot potential with the 128 it is just it is just a beautiful gun and with that six man crew you are most likely not going to get one shot unless you get ammo racked from my experience you don't usually get ammo racked from the front unless it's a object 120 or scent mark 10 something along those lines what i notice most often is the cannon barrel almost always gets knocked out on your first or second shot and with a five second reload on british tanks or six second you're you get your gunner knocked out and it, i mean it's game over you get your transmission knocked out you might have a chance but i'm really on the fence about whether or not the yag tiger should be moved from 7.0 to 6.7 on one hand i feel like the yag tiger is an entirely playable tank and can be played well at 7.0 mainly for the fact that most tanks that it faces have a hard time penning it frontally for the most part but the problem lies where 
it's up tier to 7.7, 8.0 consistently. And at that BR, it's got a long reload and it's slow. Most tanks at that BR can pen it frontally very easily, at least 90%. But let me know in the comment section below whether or not you think that the Yag Tigers BR should be changed. Now let's get into those post commentaries. Alright, so the first map we'll be taking a look at is on Berlin. We spawn out in the river spawn, carrying 23 shells. Right now I'm working towards the transmission in the Yag Tiger. I just got the engine the other day. But essentially I'm trying to make my way to the B point, but I'm also trying to get to the corner and into the lake before I get cross map sniped. So I do make it down into the river and I'm looking for enemies and fire and I notice that there's firefight bef between uh, my friend Monetary Barrel and a Carnarvon, which I spot with my binos in this next second. So I see him and I try to get up on this hill slightly and take a shot. Move forward a little bit, I see him fire again. Bring the gun down. I try to figure out what the compensation is going to be for this angle. But I end up missing my first shot. Wait for the reload. He sticks out just enough and I ammo rack him. Pull back for a second just to make sure I'm safe. Now I start pushing towards the B point and up in the middle right of the screen I see a T-92 start moving in. Now it's a pretty dangerous situation to be in right here where I can be outflanked if this guy is smart and I miss my shot so I park up here and I notice that he goes to fire at a friendly tank in the river. I'm not 100% sure if he saw me or not but I rush Probably not the best decision in the Yag Tiger. Can't get the gun down. So I try and bait a shot right here. He's waiting for me. Takes the bait. I think he went for my cannon barrel. It's not a bad idea, but I see him start pushing down for the flank. I immediately throw it in reverse. I managed to bounce a shot, which I was extremely lucky. And I just clip him, hiding behind the tank. I'm surprised he didn't push out anymore, but he continues to roll and then gets nuked by my teammate for the kill assist. Now I start capping the B point and start pushing towards their spawn because now that we've triple capped them, just got to hold the points down. Stop for a second to make sure that I'm not going to get ambushed by anybody. See a couple shots pop off, few AA trucks. Now I see this guy, takes a shot through the wall, hits my, um, my gunner, and I believe my commander. Or not my gunner, but my commander, my machine gunner. Radio operator, something like that. And I see him. He's waiting for me, and I hit him with a cola shot. I think he might have been a little bit salty about that, but an M41 walk, Walker Bulldog pops out from around the corner, scares the crap out of me. Now that I'm tracked, I'm a mobile, I'm waiting, trying to bounce these shots. I'm half expecting him to rush out in front of me because of my reload. But he allows me to get my track back up. And I continue to watch and wait for him because I'm not going to push on him. I start to move forward here. And I see 
that he's still there. He takes another shot at me. Now I thought he was going to push out through the smoke, so I was trying to traverse for that. Moves forward, and I hit him with a pull shot as well, killing the hull crew. I push up. See an M19 sitting in the back. Waiting for the reload. I don't know why, but in my head I thought the engine was in the back, so... Had a poorly placed shot there. I end up actually killing the whole turret crew with my machine gun. And that was basically GG. Now the second map is also taking place on Berlin, although this is in the field spawn. As you can see, we're already getting cross match sniped, and I'm hardly even out of spawn yet. Which was pretty irritating, but luckily I didn't get killed. Now I park up behind this broken tank, or this dead tank, to watch to see if anyone rushes out onto the A point. So I post up here. I notice that there is a tank that is still firing at me. I don't know why he hasn't given up yet, but he managed to scan and barrel me, which pretty much consistently happens on the Yag Tiger. But we look past that. He still fires his machine gun. Still waiting to see if anyone's going to pop out on that A point. You can see on the mini map that there is somebody there who just got killed. See my teammate push up there. Start capping the A point. Now at this point I started getting sick of being targeted constantly. So I try and put a shot into him. Now I think this is the accurate range. But I'm just over his head. So I push out again after dodging another two shots. And I see a tank right in plain sight, and I nuke him, STRV. Go for the reload, bounce another couple shots. Still using this dead tank as cover, keeping an eye on him. I think he pulls back here. I push out again, and I see a tortoise moving forward, and he got disintegrated. French tank just moved on to the point. It got bombed. Still watching that building like a hawk just in case he decides to pop out while I push up towards the A point. Coelian and Leopard 1 have been capping. I try and just barely get on to the cap point but I don't believe I make it Now I think he moved over towards the other side of the building, so I push up to this broken down, or this uh, torn down bunker, cautiously. I peek around the corner, I see him, I take a panic shot, he misses, I miss. I pull back for the reload, just keeping an eye on him. Not sure where he went, but we have a friendly plane come in and drop two nice big bombs on him. I noticed this tank at the time, I wasn't sure what it was, but I fire a shot and it detonates right on his cannon breach. And now I feel like the coast is clear, so I start moving up towards their spawn. <laughs> Allied CAS narrowly missing us with the bomb. 
out of the smoke, there's a T-32 that comes pushing up, just spawned. T-34. Now essentially the game is over at this point. I go over to the right stag to attempt to help a teammate with a enemy tank that he's engaging, although by the time I get there he gets killed. I make my way back over to the spawn and I notice a panther 2 rush out and kill himself as I go to find some peace tonight in the arms of the angel fly away from here from this star. thank you guys so much for checking out the video today along with also all the support on the War Thunder Crazy Kill compilations. Quick shout out to my man Folly Dolly and Monetary Barrel and the KDFVW Squadron. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about my first post commentary and I'll catch you in the next one. Tears are flowing